Hello, good evening, my friends. I hope you can be at home now. And everything in order. So let's uh, listen. Let's check who is here. Vamos a revisar quién ya está acá. Okay, so um, what about you? We have some of you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Janet, hello. Can you hear me well? ¿Me escucha, Janet? Yes, teacher, la escucho. Okay. Perfect, perfect, thank you. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo pasaste estos días? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, gracias a Dios, sí. Ok, me alegra. No hubo estragos así grandes ahí por eh, No, 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 gracias a Dios, no. Ok, me alegra, me alegra. So, uh, espero por que... Su, este, por su casa, todo bien. Eh, hubo un parte de derrumbes realmente, ah. pero no en casas así aledañas, pero ah. en la carretera, entonces eso es un tanto complicado y peligroso. Sí. sí. Bueno, pero me alegra saber que está bien, Janet. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ok, here we have Juan, César, Kevin, Gisela, Odalis, Fernando, Marvin, Abel, so welcome back. Bienvenidos de regreso. Vamos a esperar un par de segundos mientras se conectan los demás. Sé que no ha sido un, eh, fácil. Eh, pues ni ayer ni ahora. Okay, let's see. Odales, good evening. ¿Cómo estás? So, so, teacher. So, so. ¿Hubo dificultades cerca de tu casa? No, no, no. Aquí todo bien. Ok, me alegro mucho. Gracias. Ok, mientras los demás se conectan, vamos a ver quiénes más vienen de camino. Ok, so thank you for informing, gracias por eh, comentar, ¿verdad? De que vienen de camino. Algunos sé que... Tienen ciertas dificultades, so here we have Juancito, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, how are you? Everything ok? Ok, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, More or less. It's okay. Uh, okay, fine. No hubo dificultades, no problems near your house? No, 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 gracias a Dios, no. Todo bien, teacher. Gracias. Okay. Eh, pero tú no estás en San Miguel, o sí? No, no, no. Yo estoy aquí en San Salvador, que mi ah, familia okay. de San Miguel, sí, a pero tu gracias familia, a Dios igual. Creciste allá. Sí, allá crecimos. Pero gracias a Dios igual, no, no. Eh, donde viven no, no pasó mayor problema. No fueron así afectados, ¿verdad? Sí, no, no, no. Gracias a Dios, sí. Bueno, que el hermano de un concuño mío ahí, sí, él tuvo que 
salirse completamente de la casa porque sí, porque el, el agua le llevó como al metro y medio dentro de su casa. Qué peligroso. O sea, básicamente perdió todo. Sí, sí, eso eh. realmente es, es muy complicado. Eh, no sí. solo por la cuestión material, sino que quieras o no, pues si hay niños y todo, es un poco sí. traumatizante eso, realmente. Exacto. Complicado. Y el hecho también, pues, de salir de su casa, pues, de su confort y todo eso, para estar incómodo en otros lugares. Creo que es, sí, eso militante. es lo que más impacta, creo yo. Ajá. Eso es lo que más impacta en, en este tipo de eventos. Ok. Bueno. Bien, esperemos que todo pues marche bien para el resto. Así que, thank you sí. for being here, Juancito. Thank you. Ok. So, uh, we're going to start tonight by checking this. Mm, tenemos acá useful verbs. Tenemos algunos verbos que son un poquito, pues, ah, mm, útiles. En este caso, tenemos cuando decimos agregar, decimos to add. And this can be included uh, in when you are writing a, a, a report or when you are cooking, cuando están cocinando, add salt, add sugar, add pepper, whatever, okay? Update, aquí tenemos el, el icono, ¿verdad? Update, que pues significa actualizar. Update. Date. Cuando decimos actualizado, decimos updated. Podemos decir updated, pero hacemos que la T suena como R cuando hay vocales. Updated, tenemos eh, la otra que es share. Obviamente tenemos el to, ¿verdad? Pero es share, que es eh, compartir. Share, share. No, share. Share es la artista. Esta es la artista, church, cantante, pero es share. Tenemos download, ¿verdad? Download y eh, que significa descargar. Y upload es subir, cargar. Por ejemplo, you are uploading a video in YouTube or you are uploading a photograph in Drive or in, on Facebook. So, upload es subir a la red. Download, down, como los niños down, ¿verdad? O get down. Eh, toda esa palabra es bien, bien común, pero normalmente se nos complica cuando la vemos. Download es eh, descargar. Y search es buscar. Igual la palabra look for es eh, buscar. Ok. Search. Y allí no quedaría find, teacher. Eh, casi, porque find es encontrar, pero en, se, se usa también. Por ejemplo, I'm looking for, estoy buscando, or I'm, I want to search uh, about, well, some information about uh, what uh, Julia Storm, Hurricane, el huracán Julia. O puedes decir, I'm um, I can't find information about Hurricane Julia. No puedo encontrar información. Similares. Pero search, look, buscar. Y find es encontrar. You can use it, of course. So here we have some, uh, these words. Okay. Add, share, update, download, search. Search. Okay. Uh, la palabra add, aunque aparezca el signo más, no significa sumar. Cuando decimos sumar decimos plus. ¿Ok? Ok, plus. Por ejemplo, two plus two equals four. Five plus five equals ten. Y así, ¿verdad? And so uh, here we have these words. I want to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. You tell me one word that maybe calls your attention. And after that, you can say present. Hi, good evening. ¿Verdad? Porque veo que algunos ya se están conectando. So, let's start. Vamos a comenzar. Okay, so in this case, I don't know if Abel is here or is on his way. Good evening, Abel. Good evening, teacher. 
Okay, perfect. What's your word? To share. Thank you. Alexandra is moving. Brenda, I don't know if Brenda is connected, but if not, we go with Cesar. Hi, teacher. Okay, Cesar, what's your word? Update. Update, perfect. Uh, Douglas? Well. To download. Okay, download. Perfect, download. Thank you. Elia, are you there? Hello. Hello. Update. 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 Thank you. Fatima. Ah, ya la vi. Fatima. Hello. Hello, teacher. Update. Update. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, I don't know if Fernando is there. And I'm here to search. Hello. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, Flor is not here. What about Gisela? I'm here, teacher, to add. Perfect. Uh, Jose Mauricio is moving. So let's um, listen to Juan. Okay, Juancito, tell us. Okay, present teacher to download. To download, thank you. Okay, and Julissa is moving. So Carly, I don't know, Carla, Daniela, are you there? Well, maybe not by the moment. Laura, Marvin Eden Nilsson. I'm here. <clears throat> okay, Marvin. Update. Thank you, Janet. Present teacher. Hello sure. there. Sure. sure, nice. Odalis. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Oscar. To search. Okay, to search. Oscar. Rosa del Carmen. Kevin. Okay, so if you're not there, Liliana. Present teacher. Okay, Kevin. What about Mario? Are you there? Present teacher. Okay, Mario. Nice. What's your word? To share. Thank you. Noe. Present. Okay, Noe. What Update. about your word? Update and Adriana. Okay. So let's move uh, to another part. And I want to ask you something. How often do you send or receive emails? Okay. You can say once, que significa una vez, twice, dos veces, three times, tres veces al día o a la semana, o pueden decir eh, at three month, at month, okay, three times a, a day, or twice a week, or once a month, okay, once a month, and también podemos decir eh, every day, en el caso de ustedes, que uh, there are some people who work with mails every single day and they send or receive like five emails every day. So that, that's really active, 10 emails, or I don't know if that's uh, your work, it means that you work a lot with mails. So here we have some other, um, ahí tenemos estas dos palabras, remind, es eh, recordar y remember también recordar. La diferencia es, you remember when you are a child or you were a child. I remember when I was an adolescent. Recuerdo cuando era adolescente. I remember. But remind es cuando alguien te recuerda o algo te recuerda a un momento específico. Por ejemplo, ah, Janet, you remind me a classmate I had five years ago. Me recuerda a una compañera que tuve hace cinco años. Un ejemplo. Ok. Or you can say, Mario, you remind me. Eh, oh, thank you eh, for remind me. Eh, thank you to remind me about the exam. Gracias por acordarme del examen. Entonces, remind es cuando alguien actúa sobre ti o tú actúas sobre alguien para recordarle. Pero remember es simplemente recordar. Remember. Okay. 
So, um, también podemos, en lugar de decir every day, podemos decir per day. Five mails per day, cinco uh, correos por día, diez correos por día, ten emails per day, per day, por día. Okay, so I want to ask you, how often do you send or receive emails and you can answer once a week, okay. once a day, twice, three times, okay, whatever. So let's start in this case with, with Juan. Okay, Juan, what about you? How often? Uh, every time. Every day. Decir? Or, or every time. Many times a day. Or many times, exactly. Okay. Many times a day. Wow, yes, you work a lot with, with computers, uh, with a lot, or not only with computer, with cell phone, okay? You can uh, send information, yes. report, okay. Exactly. Perfect. But what do you do? Okay. Okay. Creo que a mí me está Okay. But what do you do the most? ¿Qué haces más, Juancito? You send or receive or the same? Lo mismo. Igual. Igual, igual. The same. Ambos. Okay. Sí. Both. Lo que ustedes que son resolviendo problemas y enviando de resuelto, o sea, yes. in, in, in haciendo main... solicitudes y enviando respuestas de la solicitud. Good. If you notice, mails are more formal than chats on WhatsApp or, or any kind of chat. Es más formal el, el mail. And exactly. Also, it's, it's a backup for you. Es un respaldo. It's a backup for you that you yes. are working and you are solving problems, right? Exacto. That's very important. Aunque tengo servicios como automatizados que se hace algo y depende de lo que se haga, se pueden enviar eh, emails automáticos a diferentes personas, pero son por tareas programadas. Oh, ok. Very nice. Pero los que realmente van hacia mi persona, o sea, Recibo envío de respuesta de ya se hizo o está en proceso o ya se terminó. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Thank you, Juancito. Very good. Okay. What about you, Janet? How often, ¿qué tan a menudo? How often do you uh, send or receive emails? I can hear you. Sorry. Activate the microphone. Turn it on. I send um, according to uh, work. Oh, okay. Depends. Depends on your work, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, according to. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Janet. Very nice. Yes, uh, that it, it's up to. Para decir eso también podemos decirlo de esta manera. Very good word. According to. Podemos decir depends. On, it's up to. According to my job, depends on my job. Uh, it's up to my job. It's up to my request, my, my, my solicitudes, or la, uh, depends on the assignment, depends on the assignations. Okay. So there are some other words that you can use. According to, very nice. Uh, depends on, it's up to. Okay. And um, let's listen to some others. What about here, um, Noé? How often? And then, Abel. Um, five, five emails per day. Per day, okay. Well, that's kind of uh, a nice quantity. Thank you, Noé. Abel, and then we go with Mario. How often? Okay, teacher. I receive emails. Every day. Okay. Every day, yes. I can imagine. Yes, and you have to be active and checking. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And what, thank you, Mario, and then Cesar. How often? Hello, teacher. Hello. I receive emails um, two or three times every day. Okay. Two or three times every day. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And um, here we have Cesar and then Marvin. I receive 13 to 15 emails per day. 
Oh, wow. 13 or 15, no? a lot yeah. of. In so my weekend, we uh, receive uh, 17. <laughs> Wow, 17, yes. You, you have to be uh, checking uh, all the time. Yes, Otherwise, you, you, you can be like crowded, your, your inbox. Yes. That's, uh, that's uh, very delicate because sometimes uh, your job depends fully of the, of the mail. So, well, nice, Cesar. By the moment, you are maybe the top of the number of, of emails. I don't know how many uh, mails uh, receive Juan or Mario because they receive every day. Uh, and there are some other, but imagine 13, 15, and even 17. Okay. Thank you, Cesar. Marvin, and then we go with uh, Gisela. Okay, teacher. In this case, we can use daily. You can use? Uh, the same daily. Ah, daily. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Daily. You have it's a certain a, number or you or depends? Depends on the day. Depends. Yeah. Okay. So that I sell daily. Okay. Well, thank you, Marvin. Uh, Gisela. What about Gisela and Fatima? Okay, uh, fan and um, four and eight emails die and receive um, three and five mails today. Okay, okay, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very good. What about Fatima? And let's listen to Kevin. Every day, teacher. And send or receive every day. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Yeah, that, that's something that we, we have to work with it. Imagine 20 years ago, it was very different. There were emails. Uh, 10 years ago, there were emails, but now we are using it more. Thank you. So let's move now. Let me check something. Okay. In this case, okay, we have a worksheet. Uh, look at this. Giving advice. Advice significa consejo o sugerencia. Giving advice. Should or shouldn't. No tenemos que decir should or should not. Shouldn't. Read the sentences carefully and then fill the gaps. Gaps significan vacíos, okay? Gaps. Given advice using should or shouldn't, okay? So in this case, we have 15 uh, sentences. So you tell me uh, which one you consider uh, good for you. So maybe I can have... Okay, I'm going to do one. Uh, if you have a cold, you, if you have a cold, you should, aquí sería should, you should blow your nose with a tissue and throw it away, verdad, si tienes resfriado debes de sonarte o blow es soplar, pero en este caso, uh, blow your nose, es sonarte, ¿verdad? No los mocos en la nariz. Bueno, algo así. Con, pues, eh, una servilleta, ¿verdad? O, o con una toallita. And throw it away. Y tirarla, ¿verdad? Lejos. Aunque eso, tirarla lejos, como que no mucho, ¿verdad? Better to throw it into the trash can. ¿verdad? Tirarla al basurero. Okay. So that's it. Should or shouldn't. Okay. Let's listen some of you what you have. And we're going to start with Juan. And then we go with Fátima. Okay, Juan, from one to 15. Okay, number two. Number two. You should go out if you have a bad cold. 
Ok, tú deberías salir si tienes resfriado, si tienes gripe. Salir? ¿O no deberías salir? No. Ok. Good. You shouldn't, definitely. Shouldn't. Ok, Ned. Yes. Imagine when you have a cold, you don't want to go to any, any place, especially to work. But sometimes we have okay. to. Yeah, we have to. Thank you, Juan. Uh, let's listen to Fatima and then we go with Noe. Number four, teacher. Please. When you go to the beach, you should, should, should. Mm -hmm. always use some cream. Some cream. Always, como la canción de Bon Jovi. Always. Use always. some cream. Yes. If otherwise you can have sunburn, pues si no requemado bien rico, con, you feel the shoulders, your back, especially when you spend a lot of time under the sun. Cuando está pasa mucho tiempo, se siente después uno todo requemado como camarón. So you should always use your sun cream. Thank you. Yes. Okay, very nice, uh, Fatima. We go now with who else? Let's listen to, okay, Noé and Mario. Okay, Noé. Uh, number six. Please. Your son should eat so much fast. Okay. She must fast food. Yes, he will put on a lot of weight. Ok, eh, tu hijo debería de comer mucha comida rápida. Ya, yeah, that's ok. No. No, right. Should. Yeah, but I, we know that fast food is delicious. It's tasty, but it is not so good. Thank you, Noe. Mario, and then we go with Janet. Hello, teacher, the number 10. Thank you. Dan has a terrible headache. He should take an aspirin and rest for a while. Perfect. He should take an aspirin. So headache, todo lo que termina en H, o sea, así la palabra, la perdona, el sufijo H es A, headache, o headache es dolor de cabeza. Headache, it's so terrible, so you should take an aspirin. Okay, so in this case, we go with Janet and then Abel. Number five. Five. Mark is always coaching. Yes. Coughing. Mm -hmm. Yes, he sold them. Sold them. Okay. Eh, bien. Give up significa detenerse o darse por vencido o parar. Parar mm -hmm. de fumar. Mark is always coughing. Oigan, la G y la H se escucha como F. Entonces, en este caso, cough es toser. Cough. Acuérdense de eso. Cough, cough. Coughing, uh -huh. and so Mark is always coughing. He should give up smoking. Debería de tener de fumar o no debería de parar mm -hmm. de fumar. No debería. Debería, verdad? Bueno, no sé si voy a fumar, Janet. Si no, ya no lo hagas. That's not so good for you. Thank you, Janet. Yes, he should give up. Cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, you are working, I give up. Me rindo. Ya no sigo. ¿Verdad? Me detengo. Thank you. And we go now with um, Bill and then we go with Kevin. Okay, Abel. Okay, teacher. Number seven. Please. We shouldn't, we shouldn't visit grandmother until the coronavirus is under control. Thank you. Yes, we shouldn't. No deberíamos de visitar grandmother. Yeah. That's it. Thank you very much. We go now with Kevin and then Elia. Okay, Kevin. Ready? No. Okay. Elia and then we go with Gisela. Okay. If Elia is not ready, we go with Gisela and after Gisela with Jose Mauricio. One mm -hmm. number. Number one. Okay. If Alice has Eric, 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 she should go swimming today. 
Bien, si sí, Alice tiene dolor de oído, es lo que le digo de ah. H, ¿verdad? Eric, si Alice tiene dolor de oído, ¿ella debería ir a, a nadar hoy? Should. Should, no. debería. Should no. then. Uh -huh. Should then. Giselita, y los consejos que da son bien extremos. Thank you. <risa> Thank you, Gisela. Yes, she shouldn't go swimming. That's a bad idea. What about Jose Mauricio? And after Jose, we go with Douglas. Okay, number H. Mm -hmm. Jade. J has a broken leg. leg. She is sure. Okay, should. Well, anywhere for weeks. Weeks. Uh -huh. weeks. Jade tiene una pierna rota. Ella debería caminar. A cualquier lugar por semanas o ella no debería. Uh, with doesn't. With not. With, with not. not. Yes. Uh -huh. Shouldn't. Yes, she shouldn't walk. Thank you. Okay, Douglas, are you there? Mm, yes. Okay, please. Uh, number, Let's number one. Three. Okay, then we go with uh, Marvin. Number three. Number three. Uh, uh, Jill has a high fever. Yeah. We should take her the, the doctor. Yeah. We should take her the doctor. Deberíamos de llevarla. ¿Verdad? Al, ¿Cómo yeah. se llama? Al doctor. Cuando alguien le dice, take me home. I, sorry. Hay canciones que dice, take me home, take me to another place where I can fly, bla, bla, bla. So, it's a, take me significa llévame. Okay, so let's listen now to Marvin and then Cesar. Number 12. 12. Let's go. If you have a case, you shouldn't carry that heavy back to work. Yes. Si tienes dolor de espalda, backache, you shouldn't carry, no deberías cargar. Um, what about Cesar and Fernando? Paul, uh, 11. 11, Paul, yeah. Uh, Paul has had two days. Two, two day, two day. mm -hmm. Since two yesterday. Day. I think he should go, go to the dentist. Yeah, he should go to the dentist. Even we don't like to go to the dentist. That's really important. Fernando, can you help us with number 13, please? 13. Yeah, Ali. Ali thinks too close to the TV. I think she shouldn't have her eyes check. Okay. Uh, Alice is, uh, sí, Alice se siente muy cerca de la televisión. Creo que ella debería, debería tener sus dientes, sus dientes, sus ojos, eh, pues, revisados o con evaluados. Okay. So, in this case, I'm going to show you this Um, illness or diseases, estas enfermedades o dolores o síntomas. Um, here we have this. Creo que me falta uno. Ahora tenemos fever, coughing, broken leg, a cold. Okay, so in this case, if you notice, here we have fever, uh, fiebre, coughing, cough, acuérdense, uh, cough, verdad, de la F, coughing, aunque es GH, uh, broken leg, headache, headache, es dolor de cabeza, entonces todo lo que tenga la palabra, uh, el sufijo H, verdad, uh, significa dolor, headache, cabeza, A, dolor, headache. Toothache, dolor de dientes, backache, eh, dolor de espalda. Here we have um, a cold, es un resfriado. Flu, ah, por aquí vi flu. El que hizo Juancito creo que fue. No. I don't remember what. No, creo que no. 
No nos afluca. Okay, and here we have nine and or 15. Juancito, can you help us? Nine or 15. Chicken pox significa varicela. Okay. Number nine. Nine, Bob. Bob fell off the ladder uh -huh. on his head. I think he should have an x ray take. Taken. Thank you. Very nice. Yes. And here we have our daughter. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can have the help of, uh, in this case, Fernando. Number 15, our daughter. Our daughter go to school because she has chicken pox. Our daughter yeah. should go to the school. Okay. En este caso sería shouldn't. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Nuestra hija no debería ir a la escuela porque tiene varicela, chicken pox. Okay. So there are some diseases and un par de enfermedades acá. We have to take into account. Well, let's go to this. And in this case, uh, we have check which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Uh, aquí tenemos. And let's see, Juan, can you read number one? Do okay. not. Do not use all capitals. Capitals, thank you. No, okay. Uh, let's listen okay. now to Gisela and then Janet. Gisela, avoid. Okay. Teacher, no veo la pantalla, se ve negra. <laughs> Yo creo, no sigas la luz. Gisela, no sigas la luz. Ok, es que estoy desde mi teléfono, pero creo que sí, sí. Y ahora, the same, igual. Dice, eh, iniciando. Ahí está, ahora sí. Avoid. Yes. Ahora sí. Mm. Hay que leerla. Avoid. Ah, ok. Using. Avoid using the subject important. Ok, important. Thank you, important. Uh, Janet. And then José, Mauricio. Use a formal solution. Salutation. Salutation. Yeah. Es un saludo. Ok, José, this and this. Be free. Ok. Eh, sigue, José, express. Ah, ok. Express clearly. Eh, why? Uh, why, perdón, you are... Writing. Writing. Ajá. Aquí no pronunciamos la W, solo writing. Writing. Mm -hmm. Writing. La W es silent letter. Ok. Here we have do, do not use abbreviations. Do not use smileys. Entonces tenemos todos esos tips. No usar eh, solo, solo letras mayúsculas. mayúsculas ok. Eh, here we have. Low case letters significa minúsculas. Capitals eh, significa mayúsculas. Aunque okay, también up case letter. Letter significa mayúscula. O sea, low case letter, up, lay, up case letter. ¿Verdad? Pero podemos decir capital letters. Capital es mayúscula. ¿Ok? Entonces, no solo usar mayúsculas. If you notice, when you receive a mail with capitals, it is like very uncomfortable, es como incómodo leerlo, no, no sé si se han dado cuenta cuando un correo lleva solo mayúsculas es como que mmm, como que te están diciendo algo, como que te están zamaqueando so well, next avoid using the subject important important ¿verdad? pueden decir important pero a mí me gusta omitir la A, por ejemplo eh Muchos americanos, en lugar de decir important, dicen important. Entonces, mm, mm, ¿verdad? Como que la A la omiten. En lugar de decir cortina, curtain, dice curtain. Curtain. Y en lugar de decir mountain, montaña, mountain, dice mountain. Bien extraño. Important, curtain, mountain. Important, 
Cotton Mountain. It's part of their uh, slangs, maybe, or the, the, the common use of, of the language. Eh, por ejemplo, en español nosotros eh, acortamos varias palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, hay gente que en lugar de decir, ah, nosotros, dicen los otros o los otros, en lugar de decir nosotros, yo he escuchado eso. I have listened some of these phrases. Espérate. Espérate, ok. Espérate o espérate, porque we say perate, en lugar de decir verdad, 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 y luego decimos va. Va que sí, Juancito. We use a lot of these uh, phrases and we short them. Las acortamos. Salvadoreño. Sí, no, we are very creative. Somos demasiado creativos, but a lot. So in this case, it, it is like this. You can say important, curtain, mountain. Yo no he escuchado, but a lot of people say important, curtain, mountain. Es por eso que ustedes a veces dicen, ¿Por qué mi inglés? Why my English is so different? in comparison to the TV, to the movies, to the music. Ah, it's because of these vowels, es por estas vocales, que nuestro inglés se escucha diferente, ¿ok? Es como les decía, por ejemplo, lo de este, pretty, en lugar de pretty, ¿verdad? Eh, en lugar de decir translator, decimos translator, translator, ¿verdad? Y no decimos translator, es translator, er, s, r, esa r, r, perdón, esa r se escucha ya más americana. So, important, curtain, mountain, pretty, translator. Eso da bastante eh, cambio, ¿ok? So, eh, in this case, we are talking about uh, these tips. Eh, use of formal salutations, usa un saludo formal. Bien dicen que si nos tratáramos como... En la vida real, como nos tratamos con, por correo, todo sería feliz, ¿verdad? So, uh, be brief, sé breve. That's really, really basic. Be brief, sé breve. In the mail, you can talk about your life or whatever, right? Para eso están los archivos adjuntos, ¿verdad? Y los informes and all those, right? Expre express clearly why you are writing. Expresa claramente por qué estás escribiendo o the reason you are writing. It is not about to, to type a lot of words. Be clear. Do not use abbreviations. No use abreviaturas, ¿verdad? Because that's caso contrario acá. El por qué, ¿verdad? Que lo utilizamos. ¿Por qué? Eh, utilizamos different qué. Mm, those, those type of, of texting, it's really informal. And something that is happening is that students or kids, because they use a lot of WhatsApp and Facebook, they omit a lot of words. And when they are typing or writing a report, when you ask a report, I have, uh, I have seen this kind of, of writing. Yo he visto eso en algunos eh, reportes, trabajitos de algunos adolescentes, because they are accustomed. Están acostumbrados. Yeah, and that's it. Y son tan uh, inclusos, así ve, que uh, it's uh, stuffs of kids, cosas de chicos, ¿verdad? Algunos de nosotros quizá en algún momento hasta lo hemos hecho por bromear y todo eso, ¿verdad? Y uh, hasta eso he visto, eh, K, en lugar de que, y, and I'm like, what? Sorry. Pero son cosas que, que se nos pegan. Ok. So, um, what else? Don't, uh, don't, don't use smileys. En un correo, in a formal mail, you don't have to use emojis. No hay que usar emojis, ni caritas, okay? At least you have a big confidence, a menos que tenga una gran confianza. And that's part of the, maybe, the, the environment, del ambiente. Okay, so in this case, now that we have these uh, tips, most of them are really important. If you can use it or not, it depends on you, depends on yourself, but I consider that it's really, uh, it's really necessary. And be, because of the company, de acuerdo a la compañía, there are rules. Hay como reglas o creo que también una forma de cómo se lleva, right? That's really good. So, here we have this. Amanda, como la canción de Boston, y Luis. Do you often, no often, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate? 
appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Cool, no cold. Could you share more tips to write effective mails? Yeah, sure. Okay, so in this case, what do we have here? Is appropriate business, business es negocios. Por eso hay gente acá que le decimos, ah, él es biznero, le gusta el negocio, le gusta el business. Imagínense, son anglicismos, biznero. Eh, okay, so ya saben que es share, compartir. Okay, eh, envías correos a menudo, sí, lo hago. Es apropiado usar abreviaturas en los correos empresariales. No, no es profesional, ya veo. Podría compartir más tips acerca de uh, correos efectivos. Sí, seguro. Ok, so we're going to do these things. And we're going to have a conversation, pero aparte de practicar, necesito que me den uno o dos tips más de cómo ustedes consideran que debemos de escribir correos. Maybe one or two tips you consider how mails uh, can be written. Como pueden ser escritos, ¿ok? Depends on you. Depends on the company or the way, the environment you work with, ¿ok? So here we have this. No usar mayúsculas, don't use capitals. Avoid using such important. Use a form of salutation. Be brief. Express clearly why you are writing. Don't you know, use abbreviations. Don't you not know, use smileys. Hay varios tips más. If you want, you can Google. Them. Si pueden, también los pueden googlear. But depends on you. So I need you to mention two more. Yes, Juan. Juancito. Eh, do not use bold and capital letter. Ah, bold. Okay, en negrita, right? Bold in capital negrita. letters. In capital letters. Or not, or in capital letters. Okay, that's another. It is not like maybe appropriate. Always use a greeting. Greetings. A greeting, yeah, greeting or greeting is greetings. similar. Uh -huh. It's similar as a como salutation greeting. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. But we're going to share it and we're going to practice this. Vamos a practicar. Es demasiado corto esta. The conversation, pero eh, compartan ahí con su compañero por lo menos dos tips similares, similar to Juan, similar to Douglas, about tips of how to write a formal email. Ok, así que voy a hacer los grupos, tal vez me puede echar la mano Juancito con la screenshot. Ya la envié, teacher. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. So I'm going to check. The, if you want, you can Google. Pueden googlear también. Maybe you can have some ideas about this. Okay, so let me show you something. Okay, see you in a moment.
Okay, we're having this um, speaking activity. The what is the what is your best birthday memory? I guess we all have good memories and we have mm, like really negative memories of some birthdays. So let's talk about it and you tell me maybe one anecdote, something that you remember or some our a special birthday that you really uh, liked. For example, Abel, can you start please? And then we go with Juan. I don't remember, teacher. I, the not a, not a special birthday. Um, no a special birthday. Okay. It's complicated Maybe. because in my birthday I receive money. Oh, always. In, always. Whole beer days. Beer days or beer days. The whole family. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, so here we have. Bird es nacimiento, bird day. Y el, bird day. Le dicen beer day. Si dicen beer day es el día de la cerveza. So be careful. Well, maybe you like to have beer <laughs> days. Okay, so bird day. Bear days oh, are. Okay. So uh, what about, well, Abel receives money. That's really good. But sometimes we need to spend time with family and friends. Even we can have some panes con pollo or something, or pupusas or whatever. But sharing good time, it is always good. Thank you, Abel. What about Juan? And then we go with Cesar. Okay, teacher. Yeah. What is your best birthday memory? The first time my girlfriend celebrating my today my wife ah and your girlfriend at that time now is your wife yes no no different it's the same good, good. and this was really first time ah. is what a big surprise okay big surprise and yes. it was a long time ago par de años couple of years Go long, a long time, long, long, time. long time ago. <laughs> okay. Well, but that's good. You remember it. Aún no recuerdas. Imagine. Yes. De hecho, teacher, realmente lo recuerdo porque fue mi primera celebración de cumpleaños. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. Que era la primera. Sí. And I was sí. like, realmente fue la primera porque nunca me lo habían celebrado. Y, y ella hizo eso. Okay. Y fue así como que, de hecho, con mi señora eh, anduvimos 15 años de novios. What? I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. 15 años de novio. Yes. 15 years. Wow, that's a lot of time. In my point of view, it's a lot of time. I have never met another person that experienced that. Que ha experimentado eso. Maybe 10 years, nine years of relationship, yeah. but 15. Well, that's interesting. Yes. Okay. But did you have breakups? Hubieron alejamientos, rompimientos, or no. peace and love all the time? All the time, peace and love. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's amazing. Yes. It's it's good to yes. know that. El secreto ahí, Juancito. Hey, sí, Juancito, pasa el secreto ahí para ser felices por siempre, como Shrek y Fiona. Eh, la película. No, ahí les voy a mandar el, el, el enlace para el one to one consejería. Wow. <risa> <risa> no, mentira. <risa> Cobro poco, dice. Cobro poco, eh. ¿Verdad que el viernes? Lo que le, le dan a ver falta, de cumpleaños ahí lo va a gastar, dice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why, ya lo tiene ahorrado, dice. Okay, okay, listo. Okay, thank you, Juan. Very good uh, for you. Okay. And it's good to know. It's good to know that. And I, I guess that because of your first birthday, it was very impressive, and it is significant. Es muy significativo. Es muy importante. It was really important. 
Good for your girlfriend at that time, now your wife. Good. Thank you, Juan. Así somos los hombres como Juancito. Thank you. César. Yes. Okay, César. And then uh, we go with Gisela. My best uh, birthday memory is when my father was alive, when he turned 10 and my sister was uh, 13. He said, yes two years and we travel to Disneyland. Oh, my wow, sister, nice. My sister and me and I had a same birthday. So it was all my family and it's a fantastic travel. <laughs> okay, yeah. very nice. Like you joined, Unieron joined the birthday, right? Birthday celebration. So you said, okay, let's have a family trip. Disney World or oh, Disneyland, very nice, yes. And but the, something that was very special, as you mentioned first, your father was alive. So that's uh, maybe the most important thing, right? Good, yes. sir. You were 10 and your sister 13, right? Yes. Okay, good memory. Thank you. I guess you have pictures, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, that, yeah. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> Yes, the, the best part to have. That's why pictures are so important. Thank you, Cesar. Very nice. And we go now with Gisela. And after Gisela, we go with Noe. Mm, my best breed die memory is five. Okay, five. Five years. Uh, because my mommy uh, celebrated with piñata, dulces, friends, Whoa. family. Uh, this is great that only in my life. <laughs> yeah, I guess you have uh, like pictures with the piñata, with, with yes. the friends, and maybe yes. with your dress, going to vestidito. I guess <laughs> that's very common. De hecho, es et Es un traje de esta caricatura que ya, ya no sale de los Rugrats. Rugrats. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. ¿Quién eras? Daniela. ¿Quién era? Eh. <ríe> no. De hecho, el, el traje tenía todos los personajes. <ríe> ah, todos los personajes. Uh -huh. yes. Very nice. Uh, I like Rugrats. Yeah. Yes. One of my, my best cartoon series. Thank you, Gisela. The memory. You. Imagine. How you remember the details? ¿Cómo te acuerdas de los detalles? Or maybe because you have a picture. Yes. Or you have a photograph. But you remember that it is a good memory. So that's why it was, it, it had a, a great impact in your life. Tuvo un gran impacto en tu vida, aunque no lo creas tanto así, but <laughs> yes, sí. it was very <laughs> significant. Thank you. Noé. Please, and after Noe, we go with Marvin. Okay, teacher. Uh, my, my best birthday memory is and my 30th birthday. Okay. After the pandemic, because, mm -hmm. because most place opening this month. And I meet many of my friends. Yes, and maybe you have a couple of years without seeing some of your friends. Maybe, I don't know how many friends did you have mm -hmm. in, in your reunion, in your birthday? A lot of friends or some of them? Um, ten, ten friends. Okay, a good number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. very nice. It was recent. Fue reciente. It was recent, right? After the mm -hmm. pandemic. Yes. COVID, yeah. Maybe COVID taught us, no enseñó, that we have to appreciate more the life and we can lose friends and family. So, well, thank you, Noé. Very nice. And Marvin, we finish with you, my friend, this round. Are you ready? Este Marvin solo vino a pedir los consejos de Juancito y se fue. Ya no dijo nada. Okay, maybe later. Yeah, he's going to be here later. Okay, 
let's continue with this. We are going to have a listening part. I need to be ready with your pen, pencil, or your cell phone, whatever you want to use. So you can text, uh, I'm sorry, you can write some words that you consider important, or you can identify, remember, words, phrases, or ideas. Just give me a second. I have to check this audio. Okay, let's listen two times. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Okay. It was maybe a message that this girl sent or yeah, left. Okay. Uh, maybe we can have some ideas at what I guess it, it is like kind of clear. Let's listen to Jose, Mauricio, and then Janet. What words? Sí, do... Okay. Solo escuché, eh, en la segunda parte, pero bien pocas palabras. Uh, thank you, little okay, soon, creo. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, no problem. <laughs> thank you. Yes, but some good something good is that you at least you could listen some of the words. Thank you. Uh, Janet, and after Janet, let's listen to my best anyway. Oh. My best anyway, uh, thank you, birthday, that's all. Thank you, so, very nice. Juan, and then uh, we're going to listen to Mario. Okay, teacher. Hi, it's me, first of all. Thank you, party is my birthday. She live Friday in closing friends. Uh, okay. Yes, very nice, very nice. Good one. A lot of words and phrases. Uh, yeah. Okay, Mario. And after Mario, maybe we can have Gisela. Yeah, Mario. Okay, teacher. I listen the signal. Friday, birthday. See. Sí. Okay. La señal. Viernes. Fiesta. Mm, palabras clave. Yes. 
Keywords, palabras key clave words. para, yes, yes, the key para el, el desorden. Ok, thank you. <laughs> Nate Mario, lo que te dice tu subconsciente, el relajo. Thank you, very nice words. Uh, what about Gisela, some others? Okay, maybe Gisela is not, not really there. Okay, but uh, Abel, Edenilson, some other words that you could identify? Yes, teacher. Organized party, a leader, a leader, my coaching, destruction, fears. I received this morning only. Yeah, good one. Thank you. So I'm going okay. to present this uh, chart, well, the picture. And the girl at the, at the beginning said, hi, it's me. How is it going? How is it going? It's similar to say, what's up? Uh, how, how are you? I guess you're at work and you have your phone on, right? So, uh, aquí dice, first of all, primero todo, thank you, thank you for your birthday card message. Verdad, gracias por su eh, mensaje and all those, yeah. Then here we have important information as Mario said. Let me just, and let's listen. I'm organizing a little party, aquí está, ve. Y eso es lo importante del inglés. It is not necessary to understand 100% all the words that it, it's presented. It is important to identify Keywords. Keywords significa palabras clave. Esto es palabra llave. Keywords significa palabras clave. So uh, here we have keywords. Uh, birthday. Uh, yes. Friends. Uh, cousins house. In the country. Miren. Swimming pool. Good. Uh, Friday, this Friday, okay, and that's something important, entonces Mario no sabe de qué más, bueno, sí sabe, pero no le puso mucha atención, sino que a la fiesta, ah, entonces dice, dice Mario, yeah, I'm in, voy a ir, entonces, so that's uh, the most important thing, that you can identify, pueden identificar cosas así, and of course, uh, there were, they were talking about birthday, and countryside, nice, big house, instructions, okay? All the words are important, but there are some others which are more. Hay otras que son aún más importantes. Very nice. Lo hicieron muy bien. Thank you. Okay, and here we have this. Look. Read the tips to write a formal email and classify. Classify the mails below as formal or informal. Vamos a, clas a clasificar cualquiera de estos. Ok, here we have two types. Now, for the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them formal. Si identificamos el informal, tratemos de mejorarlo. Ok, Juan, number one, can you read it, please? And then we we'll go with Abel. Fill. Fill in the subject line wide uh, topic. Relevant to you, recite, recipient, recipient, and not just document or important. Yes, no solo decir uh, documento importante. No, fill the subject line with a topic relevant, con, con un tema relevante, okay? Que te dé un indicio, okay? To have an idea what is going on on this mail. Thank you. Abel and Janet, include. Include a polite solution. Example. If, if there, Mister, dear Miss, good morning, etc. Yeah, thank you. Cuando veamos eje significa example given. Es como decir ejemplo o entre otros. Dear Mister, no. querido, ajá, verdad, apreciable. Okay, dear Miss, good morning. Nosotros decimos estimado, verdad? Estimado. We use this kind of vocabulary. And here we have number three, Janet, and then Jose. Right. Right. Your main point, the opening sentence. Yes. Your main point, the main idea in the opening sentence. O sea que del inicio tiene que ir claro. 
Perfect. Okay. And number four, we go with Jose and then Cesar. Don't use a capital or a lower case letter. Yes. Neither capital nor lower case. Ni solo mayúscula ni solo minúscula. Thank you, Cesar. And then we go with Oscar. Avoid. Cesar. Abbreviations A G P L Zero. Please. ¿Cómo le digo? Please. ¿Verdad? Eh, es esto. E incluso la gente dice sí. Haceme el favor, please. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's kind of common, maybe in the informal chat. Maybe when we have friends, of course, we can use it. But talking about formal uh, males, maybe not. Okay, Oscar, and after Oscar, we go with Noe. Okay, teacher. Be polite. Be, pol be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank you. Yes, very important. Aunque en, la, en, en persona no lo hagamos, but it is good. Please and thank you. Sí. Number seven, we go with Noé. And after Noé, you're going to have Fatima. Okay. Be brief. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Okay. Attachment is uh, un archivo adjunto. Okay. Something uh, extra. So no va a escribir una gran testamento, okay? Number eight, Fatima, and after Fatima, we're going to have Douglas, okay? Eight, Fatima, use. Okay, teacher. Use a closing. Esa no sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Phrase, phrase. Phrase. Phrase like best regards. Regards, regards. Regards, looking forward. To your, your comments. comments. Thank you. Nice. Uh -huh. Regards, ¿verdad? Eh, como saludos. Looking forward to your comments. A la espera, ¿verdad? A la espera de tus comentarios. O pendiente, como as we use it, ¿ok? Estaré pendiente, ¿verdad? estaré atento. Uh -huh. And so, thank you. And Fatima, and what about Douglas? Add a signature. Nine. Yes. Number, number nine. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Yeah, very nice, yes. Add a block signature, mm -hmm. uh, information, ¿verdad? very important, at, at the end of the mail. Okay, and number 10, edit and proofread, proofread before you send a message. Bueno, darle una pequeña edición, al final una leída antes de enviar. Yes, part of the main tips uh, to write a formal uh, mail. And here we have two examples, okay? Let's listen. Number one, uh, Juan, can you read it, please, my friend? Remember, here we have sent to Peter at May.com, subject Saturday, okay? Remember. Remember, we have to press everything for the event. Please don't forget that thing okay see you. see you what do you think it is formal or informal uh, informal yes informal see you okay see so you. that's it utiliza el don't verdad entonces aunque no 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 lo crea pero es contracción es abreviación okay so y al inicio ni le dice el nombre de la persona yes a lot of things thank you Okay. Ni good Let's, morning. Ni good morning. Good. Ni te extraño <laughs> ni nada. Este sí fue directo. Listo. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Lean listo. Jose, uh, please, number two. Uh, send okay. to Robert at mail.com, subject tomorrow's meeting. Okay, Robert. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are giving. Admitting what IT IT don't forget the document. The documents. Okay. So in this case, uh, do you consider it formal or informal? Formal. Thank you. 
Bien, entonces, eh, si le sacamos, como dicen, gallos, or we eh, look for the number one, eh, as eh, Juan said, no greeting, no hubo saludo, eh, no name, it was, eh, it used abbreviations and all those things. So we're going to do something very simple, okay? We're going to write a very short mail similar a este, similar to the second, okay? Imagine, this uh, mail has three lines, okay? You can use um, what? You can use a name, okay? Remember that tomorrow we have it, or oh, when they see it, uh, dear Mr. Gonzalez, um, I want to inform you, quiero informarle, I want to inform you that tomorrow, blah, blah, y así. Okay. Y al final le pueden escribir esto. Look. Best regards. Best regards. Regards. Looking forward to your comments. Y así lo terminamos. Ok. So here we have this. Eh, y al inicio pueden ponerles. Dear Mr. Apreciable Señor. Miss Señorita. Ok. Or good morning. You can use it three or four lines, depends on you. I need you to send it to the WhatsApp group. Quiero que lo, lo, lo escriban y lo envíen al, al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay? I'm going to give you like two minutes. Le voy a dar dos minutos quizás para hacer este pequeño mail. Okay? So you can have an idea. Y podemos tener de ejemplo este. Si quieren. Number two. Okay? Como les dije, pueden utilizar las frases de aquí, ¿verdad? Del número 8. Closing phrase. ¿Verdad? Recuerden siempre, please. Thank you. Y el número 2, include a polite salutation. Yeah. Ok. I'm going to give you like two minutes. Le doy dos minutos y lo empiezan a enviar. Ok. Ya lo vamos a leer. So that is going to be that this uh, almost part number three of the class, part number three de la clase, y de ahí nos vamos con otra actividad. Okay, two minutes. Aquí les dejo ese para que tengan una idea.
Okay, let's check what do we have here. Oh, very nice. Oscar, can you read yours, Oscar, please? Pay. She pays. Yeah. Uh, dear Carlos, um, destination. Remember. Yes. Uh, re remember on Friday we have to pay takes. Best reward. Bien, bien, muy bien. Okay. Yeah, pay taxes. Okay. Los impuestos se van a venir encima. Let's yes, pay yes. taxes. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, yes. Mauricio. Okay. Okay, Esto. espero mi padre. Soy con el teléfono. <laughs> No problem. Um, there, Miss Adela, I am attending the weekly bulletin. Um, bulletin for a uh, renewal and approval, approval uh, to be published at the. Ay, Dios, me moví esta cosa. Uh, at okay. the end, at the end of the week, thank you for your time. I am attending uh, to you your to comments. You. Yes, good one. Very formal words. Thank you, so Mauricio. Uh, Juancito, you go. Okay. Eh, de una sola vez el cuerpo del... Uh, yes, yeah, subject training. Mm -hmm. Good okay. morning. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Diaz. I remind you that then we, we will start the training on telecommunication. Best regate looking forward to you. To comment. You comment. Very nice because uh, Mauricio was talking, attaching the weekly bulletin. And you are remembering him, I remember, yes, him, about a training. Good, yes, with anticipation, right? Very nice. Juancito, thank you. We go with Okay. Gisela. Okay. Um, We're done meeting. We're done meeting. Good morning, Mr. Discamp. Nice to greet you. I'm waiting to remind you about the audit meeting. That is scheduled for Friday and I come on your support. Brace regret, Gisela Hernandez. Wow, very nice. Yes, thank you, Gisela. Uh, Marvin, you go. Dear Mr. Miller. Um, I'm sorry. Ah, it is difficult for you. You can see it. Okay, dear Miller, ask your business associate. It gives me great pleasure and information. You're about the new offer we are giving on the last office furniture series. We request you to kindly order at the earliest so that you can avail of the fabulous discount. Thank mm, you. Good. So that is about, yeah, uh, so that's an offer. Can you notice the big difference? Jose is uh, presenting information about weekly bulletin. Uh, Juancito is uh, reminding, reminding uh, some training. Okay, he said uh, is similar to Juan reminding something, and you are offering, okay, some special of uh, yeah discount, on series or furniture. Thank you, Noel and uh, very clear, right? Then Cesar, please. Okay, Monday meeting. Mr. Blanco, I remember not missing the meeting this Monday. Happy day. Okay, very clear. Okay, very short. It is a, a reminder, un recordatorio, a reminder, very clear. Thank you. Cesar, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, Mr. Michael Rodriguez. I Hereby, Ricky's your support to attendance. The commit that will take place next Monday, the 17th of the month. Have an, uh, a happy day. Okay, very good. Thank you. 
And we go with Abel, right? After Abel, we go, I uh, know, we go with, yes, Abel and Odalis. Subject. So, subject, important purchases. Mm -hmm. Dear Miss, Mr. Salty, Salty. Mm -hmm. Your presentation is very important for these purchases. Please assist them. Mm -hmm. Solo sería please. Mm -hmm. Please mm -hmm. assist. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, very clear and simple as Abel Odalis. Can you read your subject training on money and asset laundering? Good morning. Okay, maybe Odalis is not ready. Good morning. By this means, we inform your day, Mr. Barahona, that the training sale, no sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Schedule, ya se la voy a escribir, schedule. The schedule mm -hmm. for tomorrow is suspended. Y until okay. for, for the not do to within condition. Thank you, you for understanding. Sincerely, Odalis Rivera, forensic auditor. Thank you, very nice. Elia, you go. Dear Mr. Antonio. Mm. Dear Mr. Antonio, every day you have a meeting in the book room. Uh, 3 p.m. I'm attentive to human okay when this is sincerely you can talk okay in este caso la palabra esta se pronuncia schedule schedule dos sílabas bien rara i know i know it, it is weird schedule si quieren anótenla schedule okay Sé que schedule, teacher, pero it's schedule. I know, I know. It is kind of complicated word. It's kind of tricky. So, schedule, schedule. O también pueden usar la otra que es agenda. But the difference is that schedule is related sometimes with very specific date and time. Cuando utilizamos, utilizamos schedule es, es que está en el organigrama. Perdón, está en, el, sí, en, la, en la agenda con fecha y cómo se llama y hora y agenda es como más general ok well, porque schedule significa sí como horario como que ya, ya está en una agenda específica ok como tarea algo así lo, lo sí, he, como tarea lo como algo que obligatorio verdad mandar que ya está definido ya yeah, that's it y agenda you can use it si no se acuerdan y todo eso ah, digan agenda but schedule, it is like a better word. Okay, let's continue with the speaking activity because we have like what? 15 minutes, 15 minutes y terminamos. Okay, and we don't have this. What is your best birthday memory? In this case, maybe we can have Fatima. And then we have Fernando. You are there. Fatima, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. What about this? My best birthday memories when I partnered with him because I shared with my lovely family and yeah. they came uh, me a laptop and a hair a straightener a plan a una plancha de cabello ah yes iron iron hair iron, iron hair okay yes okay. Very, very nice. The word I turned 15. Cuando yeah. yo cumplí 15. Yes, very good word. Yeah. 
it is common that girls, when they turn 15, they have a special party. And that's really common, okay? In Salvador, good for you that you have a very nice birthday, Fatima. Yes. Thank you for sharing, good. And let's listen to Fernando if we have it here. And then Janet. Okay, maybe Fernando is over there. Okay, let's move to Janet. And after Janet, we're going to listen Odalis. My best birthday memory uh, is uh, celebrate my birthday with my mom and with my family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very nice, yes. When you are with your family, I guess it is the best, okay? With your mom and your family, very nice. Thank you. Odalis and then Kevin. Odalis, are you there? Yes. When I yes. turn 16, mm -hmm. me ese también. Yeah. Porque cayó justamente para una elección. Entonces, nunca se me va a olvidar. Okay, dude. Y... Yep, continue. <laughs> Siga. No, come on, come on. Uh -huh. And okay. what else? And when they announce that we were in a pandemic, when the president announced Ah, you were in, in a pandemic, pandemic time. <laughs> ah, the, the, there were two birthdays. El okay. 11 de marzo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Fue yes. justo cuando el presidente anunció, creo que el primer caso y el siguiente día ya no pudimos salir. No, yes, and I, I remember, well, that your birthday is uh, March 11. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that started the period that changed El Salvador, changed our lives, changed the story. Do you remember the history changed? Well, Juancito, ¿te se acuerda? <laughs> Yes, it was a, it was a, a crazy. Lo que thing. más lamenta Odalis dice que la ley seca dice, ni modo, entró en vivo. Pobrecita Odalis. No, no. No, Odalis no, dice que no. tenía sus reservas. Tenía ahí eh, no. provisiones, supplies. Lo que pasa yeah, es que, no, no, mi mamá cocina, entonces ese día me recuerdo que todo el día, desde como a las 4 de la mañana, nos tocó cocinar. Para mm -hmm. las elecciones. Pero la fiesta fue ocho días después, así que no problem. Well, so no problem. Yeah, así que dice. <ríe> Esto vale es mal día. Ok, thank you. <ríe> eh, ya no hablamos de la ICEC, que todavía no hay. Eh, Kevin, are you there? And then Oscar. Hello, teacher. Ok, Kevin, yep. What is Turnip tur mm -hmm. or Liar Lamb? Ok. Uh, that 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 today, Mister, my sister, what brought oh me bright 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 day, bright day. Okay. Yes, it is good when you share time, especially if you have good relationship with your sister or uh, whoever in your family. Really positive. Thank you. Oscar, and then we go with Douglas. Okay, teacher. Uh, my best birthday is moment was when my son, who is six years old, gave me a specialty present. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. A present from your 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 boy, right? Your your kid. Yeah. Yeah, the best things. That's something very sincere. Thank you, Oscar. Una cosa, Oscar, fíjate que ya he escuchado otras veces que hay como una intervención cuando activas tu micrófono. Ah, en serio. Ajá, hay como como cuando tienes un cable conectado y empieza a falsear. Es ruido. Ajá, es un ruido, una interferencia. Voy a cambiar entonces quizás este audífono, teacher. Vaya, ajá, 
probemos, porque a veces yo he escuchado eso, la mayoría de veces que, que, que participas, ¿verdad? Y se escucha, a veces es bien mínimo, pero otras veces como en ese momento, no se escucha así como que... No sé. Chévere, ¿está bien? Voy a... Sí, como que hay falso contacto. Algo así se escucha. Ok, sí. very nice, Oscar. Thank you. Gracias a ustedes. Ok, good. El guardapau Douglas. Yeah. Elia. Yes, it's one's best birthday memory was the last birthday because my co-worker uh, visited uh, my house uh, was surprised uh, at approximately uh, 6 p.m. I, I, I don't know, they, they visit my house. Um, they, they, ¿cómo se dice trajeron? They brought. Brought. Okay. They brought uh, a lot of food and, and drinks. And, and drinks. Hasta ahí dejémoslo. Yeah. And drinks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, thank you, Douglas. Good. Bring es el presente. Yeah. Traen. Y brought les trajeron. Trajeron agüita. Okay. Sodas, orange juice, <laughs> coca, fanta. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Uh, uh, Thank you. Good. Yes. And it is very interesting when co-workers, because it's different from friends, because we have special friends, neighbors, but co with co-workers, like partners at, at work, it's not so common when they go to your house. But good for you. Good experience. Uh, Elia, co are you co -workers? Hello. Okay, hello. Mm -hmm. It's your best birthday in memory. Mauricio. Uh, my mom is cookies in my Indian chicken soup and troops church in my heart. Okay, yes. So Pongo in India. Yes. That is yes. That, well, actually that's my favorite soup. And my sopa favorita. Yeah. I love it. So imagine I have a good birthday with it. Yes, good. Thank you, Elia Mauricio. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and Mario. Uh, no sé. <laughs> Come bueno, on. No tengo cumpleaños, así que se diga. No, se, no eh. te lo han celebrado. Mm, no. <laughs> wow. Ya tienen tarea. Que Carly, que está enferma, ella te lo va a hacer, ella te lo va a organizar, a Carly, ya, a ver qué te hace, una misa te va a organizar. La única vez quizás que, que sí quedó en mi memoria, bueno, pero no sé cómo decirlo, eh, cuando estaba pequeño, mi papá, bueno, nosotros siempre fuimos eh, personas de, bueno, ellos, ¿verdad?, eh, tenían pocos recursos, entonces no sé si se recuerda de unos eh, pasteles de la Lido, de unos chiquitos, entonces, I remember. Yeah, I do. Eso, pero tenía como 6, 7 años, no sé. Ok, yes. So, uh, your dad uh, brought you, te trajo, those kind of cupcakes, eran como cupcakes, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. With a candle, con una candela en those. Sí, una velita pequeña. Yes, really nice. Uh -huh. Resecos, pero, ajá. Uh -huh. That you remember, you were a kid, como right? Siempre. Seis, siete años, no yeah. sé. Okay, yeah. yes. Well, that's a good memory. And you, you don't need a lot of things. Maybe your family, uh, 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 what a present, a very small present. And that's something good for kids. Cuando somos niños, simple things are amazing. Cosas pequeñas son geniales. So, good. Thank you, Jose, for sharing. Good for you. And Mario, I don't know if Mario is there. Está desaparecido este Mario. Lo sure, tiene castigado. Okay. Uh, my best birthday uh, when I was uh, seven years old. Okay. I, I love watch Barney show. Yes. So my, in my birthday, my parents buy a 
piñata of Barney. Mm -hmm. in, in that piñata, teacher pina, piñata in English. Piñata, piñata es piñata. De hecho, la ñ ni, ni existe en inglés. Uh -huh. Por eso no okay. dice niño. Piraña, uh -huh. rana, niño, dicen los, los americanos, uh -huh. los estadounidenses. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So, the so the piñata is very, no, was mm -hmm. very um, strong, como difícil de romper. Okay. Ah, really? Yes. Very and hard. All the kids, all, uh -huh, yes. All the kids, uh, hicimos la rueda como tres veces. <laughs> really? And people try to hit it and nothing happened. Yes, teacher. Okay. And the best gift is the... Um, it is very candies, much candies, much candies. Okay, much candies. <laughs> yes, it's so happy to me that you remember. Okay, very nice. Yeah, good. <laughs> Mario never forgets the Barney's piñata. Mm -hmm. A very hard one. Okay, thank you, Mario. Well, okay, uh, very nice. We're going to finish. Ya vamos a terminar. And the song was for Julissa, uh, but she's not available, maybe tomorrow, okay, but in this case, and here we have Laura, I don't know if Laura is there, no sé si estás por ahí, Laura, okay, if Laura is not, okay, we're going to finish, but we're going to check the attendance list, let me check this. Okay, tomorrow we're going to continue with our activity. Okay, and by now, eh, solo recordar lo siguiente, eh, el día jueves ya debe estar finalizada la unidad 3. Okay, eh, sé que algunos de ustedes ven los videos cuando, ¿cómo se llama? Para recordar algunas eh, explicaciones gramaticales y todo eso. Pero recordarles que si ustedes tienen un puntaje menor del 80%, pueden volver a hacer las evaluaciones. Caso contrario, si no tienen un 80% como mínimo en los exámenes, en las tareas, tienen posibilidades de reprobar el curso. Y recuerden, remember that you are uh, making your effort, están haciendo su esfuerzo y sería pues bastante incómodo que ustedes se están esforzando con su tiempo, ¿verdad? Y lo digo por algunos, pues, que a veces eh, se les va, quizá, pero pasan bastante ocupados. O sea que, I know it is difficult, sé que es difícil, pero si pueden mejorar la, algunas de sus notas, ¿verdad? Los que llevan 80%, 90, 100, no problem, ¿verdad? Pero para los demás, sí, hay que estar pendiente con eso, ¿ok? Si no, yo me voy a comunicar con ustedes en estos días para informarles quién, pues, también de, debe de mejorar un poco para no tener dificultades. Ya después de esta clase nos quedaría en qué? Nos quedaría un poco. Quiero ver tres, siete clases. O sea, clases. Ya es lo último. Ok, I'm going to check the attendance list. Say hi, hello, good evening. Good night. Or bye bye. Abel Edenilson. Present. Ok, thank you. What about being Alexandra? Not here. Brenda, not. Cesar. Hi, teacher. Present. Okay. Thank you, Douglas. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Nice. And here we have also Fatima. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bien, Fernando, no sé si está. I don't know if you're there. Flor no se conectó. Gisela. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good everybody. Night. Bye bye. Jose Mauricio. Present. Okay. Uh, Juancito. Bye bye, my friend. Uh, good night. Present, teacher. Thank you, Goodbye. my friend. Uh, oh. I have a question. Go ahead, please. Le... I sent WhatsApp image. WhatsApp image, let me check this. Actually, I can see. It. Mm, hace poco lo enviaste. 
a su, se le acabo de enviar directamente al su WhatsApp. Ya, okay. ya. Yeah, yeah. You are going to... En teoría debería estar bien, pero no sé en qué estoy fallando. Ahí. No, yo creo que es el continuous ahí. Yo creo que es you are having. Having. Por ejemplo, I am having... Eh, lo que pasa es que en las, otras, en las otras preguntas, eh, lo que estaba en el corchete es lo que puse y estaba bien. Solo hay uno que da problemas, perdón, que me meta. Ok. Pero Gracias. tengo el mismo problema. Con eso. Ver, ver. Están avanzados, ¿verdad? Have... Están, son, sí. son tres avanzadas. Déjame sí, ver. este sí. es de la 17. Ah, sí, es el going to. Ajá. Ok. Hace una cosa. Ya probaste con el R mayúscula, con la A mayúscula. Mm, no, pero. Yo sé ahorita... que está algo extraño, pero prueba, prueba. No. Vaya, probé, ahora... Perdón que me meta otra vez. ¿Qué, ¿qué probaste, tampoco? José, Mauricio? Todo eso. Sí, ¿Probaron con el punto o después del have? Are con you todo. To have? Todo. Con todo y no, nada. Sí. Un error de la plataforma o de cómo se es, escribió. Por... Es, creo que sí, es un error. Déjeme reportarlo. Entonces voy a buscar, voy a probar y lo voy a enviar. Ok, porque a veces sí hay errores de plataforma y en esos casos tenemos que reportarlo. Ok, le, I'm going le, to report. Thank you. Le voy a enviar la imagen de toda el, el, la tarea. Sí, es la tarea 4 de la unidad, 4, si no me equivoco. No, es la 17. La 17, va. De la, de la, de la 4. Ah, va. Ahorita se ah. le envío por WhatsApp para que... Envíamelo, envíamelo el... y yo lo reviso mañana, ¿ok? Yo lo reporto, ¿ok? Ahorita you, ahí está y solo la, la número 4, que es la que estamos ahí pendientes. Ok, yo reviso, yo reviso y lo reporto. Gracias, Juancito. Then, okay. Good night, right. goodbye. Goodbye, ok. Eh, Marvin. Janet. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Odalis. Bye bye. Oscar. Bye bye. bye. Mm, Kevin, Rosa, Mario y Noel. Present Ok, my friends. Present teacher. Have a good night. Teacher Pasa no me noche. mencionó, pero aquí estoy. Ah, Julissa, ¿cómo estaba de oyente? Me comentaste. No sé si había llegado. Pero. Ajá. Sí, okay. le mandé un mensaje. Lo que pasa es que lo. En, en Zoom. Sí. Ok. Mm, mm. Vaya. Aunque. Sí, no lo había revisado. Ok, te voy a tener. Ya okay. no va con la canción. Ok. Teacher, ¿Cuál perdón? canción, Le teacher? Yo ya, ah. la, yo ya la di. Quiero ver. Ah, no, Laura. Sí. Laura ah, le toca sí. ahora. Yeah. Con... Ok, teacher. Está libre de pecado. Bye. Relax. <ríe> bye. Bye bye. <ríe> Nice. Teacher, ¿Qué? perdón, siempre le envío eh, lo mismo que Juancito, la pantalla. Envíamelo, envíamelo por cualquier cosa. Eso me va a ayudar a recordar también para informarlo, ¿ok? Ok, thank you, bye. Bye, bye, have a good night. Buenas noches, teacher. Eh, sí, Alexandra, buenas noches. Hace ah, lo último, Alexandra, las tareas, ¿ok? Es importante okay. por tu nota. Eh, una parte. consulta, eh, sí. ¿hoy las tengo que dejar hechas o hasta el jueves? Hasta el jueves, sabes? pero estaba revisando que sí tienes unas eh, notas un poco bajas. Entonces, eh, sí, que no sé si no, no, no has completado todas las tareas. Es que ese, ese fue el detalle. Yo el, el martes, me parece, de la semana pasada, sí las hice, lo que me faltaba, los errores que tenía, que le mencioné. Pero uh -huh. no sé qué me, o sea, no sé qué es lo que ha pasado. Si no sé, si no se guardaron bien, no se enviaron. No, no le sabría decir. Eh, sí, pero cuando terminaste las tareas le diste send, le diste enviar. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces no, no sé si las puedo volver a hacer ya mañana. Sí, se las mira, mira, la ventaja de la plataforma es que tú las puedes volver a hacer las veces que quieras, pero la cuestión es unidad 1, unidad 2, midterm, el examen de medio curso y la unidad 3. Uh -huh. Ok, así que yo sí te recomiendo porque la, o sea, tú te conectas y el tiempo de conexión lo tienes, 
la dificultad uh -huh. es que si puedes tener todo el tiempo de conexión, pero si no tienes las notas, perdón, la, sí, la, digamos las tareas completas, las asignaciones, uh -huh. va a haber problemas contigo y yo no quiero que se quede nada. Ok, Alexandra, así que... Perfecto, yo voy a revisar okay. eso mañana. Excelente. Sí. Bien, okay. cualquier cosa me uh -huh. escribes. Ok, okay feliz noche, Igualmente, bye bye.